boys and girls. Happy spring day to you. Um, welcome to my sing-along. And today we are on number eight. We've been doing this for two months. Isn't that amazing? I thought we'd start out with a review of uh, a song we did last week, Va Ba Black Sheep, for our kindergartners. Although now you guys are getting so grown up, you're really almost in first grade. But I wanted to show you the picture in the book. And I'll just go ahead and sing it. You can sing it with me. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for his dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. And that's in a nice little Mother Goose book that I have here. And there's a picture of a purple cow on the cover. And that's because there's a little rhyme that goes like this. I thought you should learn this because this is always fun to sing this one. This one, you just say it. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you here and now, I'd rather see than be one. <laughs> can you say it with me? I'll, I never, I never saw a purple cow. I'll say a line and then you say it back to me. I never saw a purple cow. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you here and now, but I can tell you here and now, I'd rather see than be one. I'd rather see than be one. So this little book has a whole bunch of other rhymes Maybe next week I'll do another one. Okay. Uh, let's look at the board. We've got Ba Ba Black Sheep, Purple Cow. We did that terrible day. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So most of you have read this story. It's kind of fun. Uh, and it may, <laughs> it may relate to what's going on in your life right now. Um, and up here on the... Oh, I'll have to move this over a little bit so you can see all the different notes. We've got terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, rest. So when we get to the part of the story where we say that, because this phrase comes many, many times in the story, and every time we say the words terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, and then sometimes we have to say Australia. And when we say Australia, that you can see these little part of a triangle without the bottom. This means get louder and this means get softer. Those are crescendo marks and a decrescendo. Crescendo means get louder. Decrescendo means get softer. And so every time we come to Australia, make sure you kind of start out soft, Australia, and then on trail, that part's loud, and then it tapers off. It's not quite as loud. So, um, so I'm going to read the story. You're going to clap these rhythms. Let's practice that rhythm one more time. So it's actually, I'm going to say it in T's and ta's. T T ta, T T ta, ta ta, T T ta, ta. Remember, we go like this when it's the rest. So, could you do that with me? Clap and say, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ta ta, ti ti ta, ta. Rest. Now, could you say the words and clap it? Let's do it together. Ready? Go. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Have a look at these rhythms. Are there any rhythms that are repeated? Are there? Let's see. This is a T T ta. Do I see another T T ta? Let's see. T T ta. Oh, those are the same. What about this one? Ta ta. Different. That one's different. Very bad. T T ta. Is that the same as this? T T ta, which is the same as. T T ta. 
So there's three different bars here, measures, that are exactly the same in that ti ti ta rhythm. Okay, good. We haven't done much of this this year, so you may need some catching up when we come back in the fall, which I hope we do. Okay. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be, and here you go, you're going to clap and say it with me, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent's cold ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. Can you say Australia? In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be carsick. I could tell it was going to be, what, a terrible horrible, no good, very bad day. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It, it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I'm going to Australia. Have you been to the dentist? Probably not lately. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get in the car, get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then I started crying. Because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. Nobody even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me wear, they made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at the office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a horrible, terrible, no good, very, very bad day.
There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. Whoops. Do you like lima beans, boys and girls? I do. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes, my marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. And I hate my railroad train pajamas. to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony and not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. I thought you'd enjoy that. Great little book. So let's review. T T ta T T ta 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 T T ta ta. And then there's a little rest at the end. Yeah. So when we get back in the fall, we'll learn how to. Uh, play some instruments. Uh, sometimes we play the glockenspiel. I brought it home to play with for myself. Yeah. So we could even put this right here and I could grab a little mallet. Remember the song about mallets? Mallets in the air. Fingers wrapped around. See how my fingers are wrapped around? It's not, we don't point like with pencils. We hold it this way. That way our wrists are kind of up and down. How about I play a song? figure out, I bet. Okay. Whoops. Let's do the next thing on the list here, Little Boy Duck. This is a song, I have to get the lyrics for this because um, I haven't sung this in a long time. But this is such a cute little song and maybe next year in the fall we'll start to learn it. It's about a little green duck sitting in the water. Little green duck doing what he oughter. He took a bite of the lily pad, flapped his wings, and he said, I'm glad I'm a little white duck sitting in the water. And what do ducks say? Quack, quack, quack. Exactly. Once again, <laughs> the keyboard and I are having a disagreement as to what it should be doing. And it's because I keep bumping into things when I was reading you the story. So I just shut it down, turn it back on. It's like magic. There's a little white duck sitting in the water a little white duck doing what he oughter he took a bite of the lily pad he flapped his wings and he said i'm glad i'm a little white duck sitting in the water
Tickety tickle the frog and the lily pad that the little duck bit. And he said, I'm glad I'm a little black bug. But floating on the water. And what does the bug say? Turp, turp, turp. <laughs> now there's a little red snake lying in the water. A little red snake doing what he ought her. He frightened the duck and the frog so bad. He ate the little bug and he said, I'm glad I'm a little red snake lying in the water. Now there's nobody left sitting in the water. There's nobody left doing what he ought her. There's nothing left but the lily pad. The duck and the frog ran away. It's sad that there's a nobody left sitting in the water. you'd like that. And there's hand motions too. Maybe next week we'll work on the hand motions and I'll, I'll uh, do one verse at a time. Let's practice the first verse and then next week we'll learn the next couple. So the first verse goes like this. There's a little white duck. Can you sing that? There's a little white duck. Yes, use your tip of the tongue to get little, little white duck. Also on the word white, We've talked about this. You have to get out your candle and blow on it when you say the word white because it has an H in it. W-H always makes this sound. Like when, where, why, white, like that. Okay, so I'm going to say one line at a time and you're going to copy me. There's a little white duck. Do that much. There's a little white duck. And what's he doing? He's sitting, sitting in the water, sitting in the water. My turn. A little white duck, a little white duck, doing what he ought her, doing what he ought her. He took a bite of the lily pad. Get up there. Don't leave your voice on the floor. <laughs> he took a bite of the lily pad. Flapped his wings, do that much, flapped his wings, and then what? And he said, I'm glad, and he said, I'm glad. What is he glad? He's a little white duck sitting in the water. He's a little white duck sitting in the water. And then can you quack, 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 quack? on the verses next week. Such a great song. And now last week, let's see, what's next? Little White Duck, Sea Jam Blues. Oh, this is for the upper grades. So, I'm not sure you have your recorders at home. But we worked on a song by that was a, a jazz tune called Sea Jam Blues, written by the great Duke Ellington, an African-American a uh, fellow who lived maybe uh, when your grandparents lived. Um, and he wrote a song for his band. He had a big band. And they traveled all over the United States playing at dances. People came and they would dance and they would have such a good time. So you probably remember. So the two notes that we're playing for this are a A A A A A A D. Those are the only notes you have to play, but there's a lot of space in between. And what we kind of worked on a little bit, we didn't get too far with it, because we ran out of school time. Uh, 
is the idea of a solo, a solo. So I'm going to sing the A, 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 D. up here on the on the board um, so I just wanted to review this but I can't play it and sing it and play it and everything all at the same time so I'm just gonna play it one more time on my recorder and I want you to be able to see my fingering so a is two fingers down the front and a thumb on the back Getting to D is very easy. You just let go of two of the fingers. And the only one you leave there is the middle finger, middle man. And remember, boys and girls, if you have your recorder at home, when you play the recorder, it's a soft blowing, and we use our tongue to articulate so it doesn't sound like this. Like that. See that it's kind of doesn't it's not clean. So when you use your the tip of your tongue, it's just a toot toot toot, not a hoo hoo hoo. Can you see my fingers? And in the meantime, you can use those two notes to play a little, a little riff, we would call it. Something like that. So, if you have your recorder at home, practice A and D, those two notes, and um, maybe you could start fooling around with a solo. I think that would be fabulous. All right, last week I tried to do the corner grocery store, but I couldn't think of any food. <laughs> so I thought about it a little more. Uh, but it is true, a lot of food that we eat, it, it, it's hard to rhyme. Asparagus, I bet you can't rhyme that. <laughs> but it, it is asparagus season right now. Oh, I'm gonna have it for breakfast. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do Oh, there was cheese, cheese, walking on his knees at the store, at the store. Oh, there was cheese, cheese, walking on his knees at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. Next, I'm going to do milk. Remember last week we decided the milk was sewing on some silk, making a mask maybe. Oh, there was milk, milk, sewing on some silk at the store, at the store. Oh, there was milk, milk, sewing on some silk at the corner grocery store. How about eggs walking on some legs? Oh, there were legs, oh, there were eggs, on their legs at the store at the store oh there were eggs eggs walking on their legs at the corner grocery store my eyes are dim 
I cannot see. I can't have not got my specs with me. Here's a new one I made up. Oh, there were plums. There, there was a plum. Let's just do one plum, singular. Uh, there's a plum, plum, chewing on some gum at the store, at the store. Oh, there was plum, plum, chewing on some gum at the corner grocery store. How about honey playing with a bunny? Oh, there was honey, honey, playing with a bunny on the store, at the store. There was honey, bunny, <laughs> there was honey, honey, playing with a bunny at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see, I have not brought my specs with thee. I've got more. Beans, yeah. Beans, putting on some jeans, yeah. Say it with me. Oh, there were beans, beans, putting on some jeans at the store, at the store. Oh, there were beans, beans, trying on some jeans at the corner grocery store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. And I have one more, but if you have one, you could email me. Oh, there was corn, corn, blowing on a horn at the store, at the store. Oh, there was corn, blowing on a horn at the corner grocery store, at the corner grocery store. And if you can come up with a rhyme for radish, you are special. Okay, corner grocery store. Oh, it's not even on here. White coral bells. Oh, okay, so this is the time of year when a certain flower comes up in my yard, and here it is. That, that's a little bundle of white coral bells. Let's see if you can see them up close. So the white coral bells, uh, the, this kind of looks like a ramp leaf. If you've got ramps in your yard, those are delicious. But anyway, the white coral bells are coming up right now. They're not completely in bloom, but they're getting there. And there's a song, a very old song about the white coral bells. Upon a slender stalk, lilies of the valley, my garden walk, lilies of the deck, they deck my garden walk. Oh, don't you wish that you could hear them ring? Because you can see, if you look up close, that they look like little bells. So some people call them lily of the valley, but they are also called white coral bells. See how they look like little bells? So. Oh, don't you wish that you could hear them ring? That can happen only when the fairies sing. So here's the tune. I'll sing the whole song and then I'll teach it to you. White coral bells upon a slender star. but you may notice. Last week we did, I had my little iPad out, and you know, boys and girls, you can go back to my Facebook page if you need to go and review any of these um, old videos. Uh, so if you missed last week's video where we did this thing with my iPad with GarageBand, we actually recorded uh, a couple of tracks that went together, and it's called a, a 
a, uh, a round. So here's a, a line and here's a line, but, and they're the exact same tune, but they are like this. First one starts and the other one starts a little bit later and then they travel together and they create a little harmony. So instead of just one note, you get two. And when you have two notes like that that go together, they call that harmony. Upon a slender stalk, upon a slender stalk, lily of the valley deck my garden walk. Lilies of the valley deck my garden walk. That line goes all up and down. Lilies of the valley deck my garden Again, that's a heck of a line. Lilies of the valley, deck my garden walk. And then the tune is the same, but the um, words are different. Be my echo. Oh, don't you wish, oh, don't you wish that you could hear them ring, that you could hear them ring. That can happen only when the sing. That can happen only when the fairies sing. Let's try the whole thing and then next week we'll sing it again and I'll work out a little thing on the garage band so that we can sing it as a rhyme, a uh, round. White coral bells upon a slender stalk, lilies of the pretty melody. Um, okay, so that's something we're going to work on a little bit more next week. Uh, and then I'm going to go grab my auto harp. Let's see, do I have everything? Oh, I don't think I do. Well, we'll skip that. Um, yeah. So we'll do Oh, you know what we haven't done, and it was on my list from a couple weeks ago. Before we do, can you see steady beat beat? Let's, let's practice steady beat beat. These are all quarter notes, and they're all the same equal value. Steady beat beat, steady beat beat. And are you clapping while you sing that? Let's clap and sing. I can't clap and point at the same time, but you can clap. Steady beat beat, steady beat beat steady beat beat and stop very good so uh one of the songs that was on my list from a couple weeks ago was god bless america we somehow we didn't get around to it so could we do that to do a patriotic song once in a while. Um, and then we're going to finish with a Ram Sam Sam. Now, I can't do both parts at once, and I didn't uh, bring the iPad this time because I just want to 
review it and then we'll do it with the iPad again next week when we do the other round. Okay, so So I'm gonna start but why don't you come in a little bit later so that you're doing the round part. Okay, so I'll kind of nod my head when it's your turn to come in. I go first. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a ram. I think you should have already come in. <laughs> I don't know how to do all these things at once, so just come in when you think it's time. <laughs> I'll start again. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam. two verses it's got a lot of verses so I tuned up my auto harp Sparkling corn. Green is the color of the sparkling corn in the morning when we rise. In the morning when we rise, that's the time. That's the time I love the best. Oh, I'll just go ahead and sing the whole song. Mellow is a feeling that I get when I see you. Uh-huh. Here we go. Mellow is the feeling that I get when I see you. Uh-huh. When I see you. verse is about freedom. Freedom is a word I rarely use without thinking of the time when I was loved. Freedom is the word I rarely use without thinking. Uh-huh. Without thinking. Uh-huh. That's the time. That's the time. auto harp that much this year. I don't think we even got it out once, but here it is. 
I borrowed it from my church. And that's all we're going to do today. Boys and girls, it's always fun to do these for you, but I really miss seeing you in person. I bet you've all grown about a foot and a half. And if I saw you on the street, I might not even recognize you. But you'd recognize me because I'm just the same old Miss Kerr. And uh, I hope you're having a good time. It's a beautiful spring. Well, it's kind of cloudy and stuff. Had a little rain, but the lake is warming up, so I'm getting ready to go for a swim as soon as possible. I love you guys. I miss you. Have a good week. I'll see you again next week.